the Nordstrom's, Marshall's, Ross, TJ Maxx, Burlington, Kohl's. That is just a short list of department stores where you can often find fragrances, mint's fragrance, that are on clearance or that are very discounted. Now those names are gonna change or vary depending upon where you're at because not all these places are in all 50 states or across the world, wherever you're viewing me from. Uh, but for the most part, pretty close to home, likely there is a department store where you can find a discounted rate on men's fragrance. Maybe not the best selection in the world. And especially if you're like me, when you walk into say, for example, TJ Maxx and you look at something like this, and I don't think that many guys are into CK into you. That is a lot of CK into you. And you can notice the the orange sticker there where it's on clearance. It can often be confusing when you go to a department store where there's discounted rate on fragrances and you find this huge mess that you've got to muddle through. There's often like, you might find the golden egg in between some beard oil, some soap and men's underwear that for some reason has been opened. Hopefully they didn't try that on in the store and put it back. Who knows though, because discount stores can be kind of crazy. So I am here to help clear up some of the confusion. When we come back, we're going to talk about seven that are pretty solid and you can get a really good rate on. We've got that and more coming up. So stay tuned. Welcome back guys. Today's subject is discounted rate on men's fragrance and in particular seven fragrances that you may or may not have run across. And if you've ever wondered before what these fragrances are like, we're gonna talk about them in brief today. And I'm gonna tell you why it might be a good idea to pick one or two or three or all of them up. A little bit about how they perform too. The very first fragrance that we're gonna talk about is a Davidoff fragrance. It is called Davidoff the Game. And as you can see, the presentation is like a stack of poker chips. It's got Davidoff the Game on the top there if you can see that that's pretty cool i like that presentation and the fragrance itself is a mildly sweet soapy clean fresh lightly aquatic fragrance that will put you in mind of several different fragrances some people say it smells a little bit like cool water other people say it smells like an off-brand version of jpg Le Mal, something like that yeah sure all, all of those, and that's perfectly fine. It's a very pleasant, you know, sometimes Davidoff's hit or miss. This is definitely a, a, a bit of a hit. I won't say it's par excellence, but it's a, it's a really solid fragrance for what you're gonna pay. And what you're gonna pay for this is about 22 bucks online. I'm gonna leave a link below, of course, so that you can pick up most of these. There are a few of them that are kind of hard to find. And, and some of them you can only find in rack stores, but what I could find online for you, I have listed down below. This one has some juniper, gin fizz, a little bit of iris and some blackwoods in the base. But I like that combination of that, that gin fizz and iris is really nice, pleasant. Again, comes off extremely soapy and clean. So this would be a good like shower gel alternative, Davidoff the game. Another brand that is mostly slated toward the younger generation is also hit and miss when it comes to their fragrances that they've created. It is Hollister. This particular one is called Canyon Escape. Canyon Escape is an interesting fragrance. I really like the presentation. You know, you've got this uh, kind of a Canyon Escape cut in the glass, which is really cool. It has a really nice wooden, similar to an ash cap. Um, and it's embossed Hollister on the front with Canyon Escape in a blue font below that. The smell is a little bit synthetic, but not a bad synthetic. This is one I keep putting my nose to because it's a very interesting kind of fragrance. It's fresh, it's lightly fruity, aquatic. This one has a really good duo of juniper and sage with a bit of vetiver in the base. Oak moss, amber, and patchouli is the base that it's sitting on, which gives it a kind of a little bit heavier feel to it. You know, you think of Hollister, you think of, again, the younger generation. This one, though, appeals to someone who might be a little bit older. When I say older, I'm talking like early 30s, late 20s, something like that. So it has some relevance built into the DNA, and it's just an overall pleasant wear with some really good performance. Typically, Hollister fragrances don't perform all that well. This one is a bit of a departure from that, so that's kind of a nice surprise, and especially on clearance at fragrancenet.com for less than 20 bucks, it's like 18 bucks for a 100 ml bottle is actually a really good deal. Hollister Canyon Escape. 
Remember the relatively new Hugo Boss fragrance that came out, uh, it was called Jeans? Well, I'm of the opinion that you can't have too many casual fragrances to choose from. This particular fragrance is actually by Original Penguin, who actually has some pretty decent fragrances in their lineup or their catalog. And this is definitely one of them. It is simply called Denim by Original Penguin. Just like the color of the flacon or bottle, which is glass with a silver top, it denotes or identifies itself as a jean type fragrance, obviously with the name Denim, so it's gonna be wholly casual. Not one of those fragrances is gonna last well into, you know, seven, eight hours, but there's a benefit in that. If you are one uh, like myself who owns multiple fragrances and you might want to wear more than one fragrance during the period of an eight hour day, this would be a great put on in the morning right after a shower because it is fresh, it is clean for several hours, but then later on it completely is gone, you know, and you're ready for something else. So there's a benefit to a short-lived fragrance in terms of being able to wear multiple fragrances during the period of a day. And Original Penguin's Denim is definitely one of those. It's considered a fresh aquatic fougere with bergamot, apple, and lime in the top. You've got nutmeg and a bit of suede in the heart. There's some notable sandalwood and amber in the base, along with some earthy, probably patchouli as well as an addition to make that trio perfect and envelop a very refreshing, again, fresh aquatic fragrance. And for around 22 bucks, it's a great quick grab. Denim by Original Penguin. The next solid cheapie I'm gonna recommend, I'm actually wearing today, and this one was a really cool blind buy, but was a really nice find by Banana Republic. Again, like several of these, Banana Republic is a brand that's a bit hit or miss when it comes to men's fragrance, although they do have more hits than misses. And this is one of those notable hits. It is called Cordovan Vintage. Not to be confused with the original Cordovan or Cordovan, however you want to say that, uh, which was more of a fig-based fragrance. This one has often been compared to Dolce & Gabbana The One, JPG Le Mal, and I think it does smell similar to those within that same vein. It is a bit sweeter, uh, similar to the game. It has kind of a bubblegum vibe in the background, but that goes away pretty quickly. It's a bit more of a serious, kind of a sensual, light leather fragrance. It would be considered a spicy amber fragrance. In the background, I'm getting like a bit of maybe a light cherry amber kind of vibe running through it. As it's been compared to the one by Dolce & Gabbana, one thing I'll say about this, it actually performs a lot better. You're gonna get more than six hours of wear out of this fragrance. And for those of you that are familiar with the one DNA, you're gonna really appreciate that. So definitely check out Cordovan Vintage by Banana Republic. This one is a bit harder to find. I think I found it for 20 bucks at TJ max um, and if you find it at a rack store that's approximately what you're going to pay if you look for it online though you'll find it for right around 30 to 35 bucks which still isn't bad for the quality fragrance that you're getting next up is a fragrance by calvin klein and for those of you that can appreciate a lightly barbershop fresh minty clean very soapy feel in a fragrance and you can't have too many of those you'll really appreciate truth men by calvin klein a truth men does have kind of a retro smell to it because it is a bit older of a fragrance i think 2000 early 2000s is when it came out so you can smell that you can definitely tell and smell but it's not unpleasant. It's not outlived its relevancy. In other words, it's still a very strong competitor when it comes to those fresh, clean, soapy fragrances. And again, in my estimation, just like casual fragrances, you can't have too many of those to choose from. It's been called fresh, green, woody, spicy, aquatic. It is all of the above. The pepper, basil, cardamom, and sandalwood combination is what gives it that very fresh, minty, and spicy appeal. And the base of cedar and patchouli pulls it all together with a very woody, earthy, freshness. Looking at it dead on, you can't really tell, but it sits very funky on the shelf. It's like, whoa, it's like ready to fall over, but that's actually how it looks in the presentation. Kind of a cool bottle or flacken, but definitely kind of retro as well. So if you're into the retro thing, you'll probably appreciate that about it. You can get this for a hundred mil bottle for about 24 bucks. Truth Men by Calvin Klein. The Yves Saint Laurent fragrance Tuxedo is a fantastic masculine, sexy fragrance for men, but it also is very expensive. That has prompted quite a few clones. Clones are a bit hit and miss when it comes to Tuxedo. You either get a good clone or a bad clone. There's no in between, it seems. A really good clone I have found by Fragrance World is called Suits. You may be familiar with this. I think 
Uh, Suits has been talked about. I'm not the first person on YouTube to talk about it. Ashton of Jensen's, of course, has brought it up. Uh, several YouTubers have talked about it. Chaos Fragrance, uh, many others. So it may be familiar to you. If you haven't tried it, you gotta give it a try. It really does smell exactly like Tuxedo. Doesn't have the performance of Tuxedo. You have to pay for that performance, right? But if you want one of the best approximations of that smell, you can definitely find it in suits. Violet leaf, coriander, bergamot, rose, black pepper, amber, patchouli. And it does smell extremely expensive, which is really good for a clone because that's probably the penultimate that a clone can attain is that expensive smell of what it's trying to mimic. If you find it at a rack store, you're gonna get it for really cheap, but online it's become a bit more popular. So it's right around 45 to 50 bucks for a 100 ml bottle. So you kind of get what you pay for it. So if you find suits, I recommend grabbing it up. Lastly, we're gonna talk about a Hugo Boss fragrance. Hugo Boss makes a ton of cheapies, and it's kind of hard to tell which ones are, are worth spending your money on, which ones you wanna bypass. This one I highly recommend, again, for casual, for clean, for fresh, soapy, and shower gel-like. It's hard to do better than Boss In Motion, the white edition. I just like the super clean, fresh feel, and it also has a bit of a retro vibe going for it too, but again, not the retro that isn't still relevant. What gives it that is that basil blood orange open. You've got cinnamon, saffron, patchouli, a bit of amber in the base, a really great buy. You can get a 40 ml bottle for around 34 bucks, which is still very much worth it. And it's kind of a cool presentation. I'll give you a shot of that there. Put your thumb on the bottom of it, and that's where the atomizer pumps up through the, the front, the top of the aperture there. It's a pretty cool presentation, smells great, fresh, clean, with that blood orange freshness in the background, especially in the open, but it lasts into the dry down. That's what makes it such a pleasant fragrance and a great buy. Well guys, that's it for my seven cheapies that I think are really solid and worth owning. If you find any of these in the rack stores that I mentioned or another rack store, definitely grab it up. You won't be disappointed. But if you have trouble finding it at your local rack store, I have again listed below some links that you can check it out if you wanna grab any of these. If you have any of these though already and you've got some thoughts on how they wear, how they perform, let us all know what those are in the comments below. Well, that's it guys. Thanks so much for stopping by to check out today's video. As always, thank you so much for your continued support on my channel. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense and I'll see you tomorrow with another video review.